Hello beautiful seekers, this is Clarity1129. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a pick a card reading, which is something that I was just called to do. Uh, this is what are blessings coming your way in the next 30 days, alright? Uh, we are going to have the full moon in Leo uh, for uh, some areas uh, on the 5th and other parts of the planet on the 6th of uh, February, alright? So, though this is not completely um, got to, I mean, I have set it as a, set the intention for it to be a timeless reading. So, it may not be uh, at this time that you come across this video. Whenever later you come across this video, from the time you're watching this video to the next 30 days, what are the blessings that are coming your way? All right. So, I have pre-shuffled all the cards. So, it's going to be a quick reading and it's just to give you uh, some sort of idea as to what you can look forward to things that you know if you've been feeling that nothing's working or the new year's begun and you expect it to be so much but you're not really seeing things what's happening behind the scenes we'll just take a sneak peek all right so i just hope that you do resonate with what you uh, get here and things turn out to be wonderful for you but we'll take a look i don't know what uh, there is inside of this so we'll discover that together all right and um, without further delay let me introduce you to the piles pile number one is the clear quartz crystal pile number two is the pyrite and pile number three is the oops sodalite crystal all right so taking a deep breath my dear seekers Close your eyes, exhale, slowly open your eyes and whichever pile you're drawn to, that is your pile, alright? So let's get started. Pile number one, those of you who've chosen this beautiful clear quartz crystal, this is your reading. It's possible that one of the many blessings that are coming your way during this time is clarity. You are getting answers either through clairvoyance or through uh, some sort of epiphany in your dreams or through something that you read or something that you watch. But it, you're going to have this aha moment. And this is something that you've been wanting. And this is going to make things a lot clearer for you. For all you know, this very reading may be this uh, moment for you. All right. We don't know how spirit works, how the universe works and how we get answers. All we have to do is to keep our ears, our eyes and our mind open and our heart open and be willing to receive. All right, so let me first place the cards and then we'll get into your reading. What are the blessings coming for pile number one? And to begin with, we have the moon, which is very powerful considering that we have a full moon tomorrow and day after, depending on where we are. And judgment, very powerful. Two major arcanas. Wow, what an opening. All right, let's look at the other cards. Mirror guardian, take time to reflect. Koala spirit, spirit has a plan. Wow. Golden healer quartz, open the door. Wonderful. Worry, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Ideation. Nestrishim, which says victory and conquest. He who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. Brilliance, discover your sparkle. Expect powerful change. Did I not tell you this is going to be a powerful reading? Just looking at these two cards here. Here's further confirmation. Is everything coming inside? Yes, beautifully so. And last but not the least, beautiful protection, strong protective magic for the family and the home. Wonderful. So we'll keep that next to worry so that the worry goes away, right? Here we are. So pile number one, what are the blessings that are coming your way in the uh, 30 days to come from the time you stumble upon this reading? 
first and foremost this is going to be a very powerful time all right from the time you step on this reading because both i've just taken out two uh, tarot cards per pile and i don't know what they are but yours are opening with the moon and the judgment card and major arcana is all about things which are fated with a destined and they're meant to happen and for you it's meant to happen during this time all right and with the moon and this uh, beautiful card here i mean sorry the crystal here of the clear quartz moon can talk about hidden things secrets it can talk about confusion not having clarity but it can also talk about intuition depending on which card it's next to and it's between two extremely positive cards the judgment as well as spirit has a plan and so during this time in the next 30 days from the time you watch this reading you are going to get clarity and for a lot many of you it would be because of your intuition you will suddenly have that aha moment it won't be uh, because someone told you something or you're waiting for an answer from such and such person and they have come and told you no it is suddenly something that you stumble upon and you say oh my lord this is what it was and i didn't see it all this while for a lot of you that's how it's going to come to you all right because the moon has got to do with intuition and there is this is one of the major blessings and this is going to change a lot of things in your life for some of you it could be uh, something to do with your uh, job if you're uh, you know a creative person because i've seen this ideation card and i want to tell you about this card you know i was shuffling this uh, deck and i uh, whenever i shuffle any of the cards i decide how many times i'm going to shuffle it before i take out something until i've actually set the intention if the card comes i don't take it and this card, before i could set the intention this card has come out about 2 3 times for you and finally i and i kept keeping it back inside and then um after i set the intention when i shuffled this was the card that fell and it fell open all right but because it's come so many times i decided to keep the card and because there is this message for you which and for a lot of you this uh, may not be uh, about an answer coming from a person but maybe for some of you creatives out there who've been working you know maybe you're working on a book or you're working on deciding something for a certain project and you've come to a roadblock or you just feel that your creative energies you know you just feel a creative block this is the time that that uh, is going to just shift whatever it is that you were stuck with it's just going to change and you are going to get answers you will know exactly what you need to do you will discover your sparkle during this time all right and i uh, must tell you the number 8 is going to be very important for you so maybe with this uh, full moon coming up on 5th 6 maybe your ideas will come to you around 8 because you have a 26 here which adds to adds up to an 8 and so does the 35 add up to an 8 here all right so this is um, just additional uh, confirmation for you but this time you are going to get this great uh, idea all right now so when this idea comes to you if you're this creatives who are waiting for something when it comes the first uh, reaction you may have is how preposterous i can never write something on this this is something so vague do not react with this card here open the door be open to the possibilities that are coming don't shut down your ideas you are meant to do this if this is coming to you as an you know an epiphany of some sort and it's a strong uh, feeling this is going to really really help you and you're being asked to visualize the whole thing all right what whichever area it is now for some of you as i said it's got to do with a venture something got to do with your creativity something got to do with your maybe a book or some art or some project for others of you it's got to do with answers from someone you're waiting for in whichever uh, you know you will have an idea or some clarity about what is it that has transpired in the past where you were felt that you were in the dark this is going to come to you but you need to just first take time out to reflect and secondly when that comes in do not be afraid you know uh, do not get into worry of uh, that oh no this is just not the way it's meant to be and maybe this is wrong and how can this possibly happen don't give in to worry it's never helped anyone and whatever is meant to happen will happen but when you worry you're not changing any outcome in fact if things were meant to be uh, you know much better you bring upon whatever you're worrying on on yourself so why do you want to do that 
you are being told one easy way to dispel your worry is to know that you are being protected in the coming 30 days and even beyond that but definitely for these 30 days you are going to be protected so whatever it is that you're wanting to do don't be foolhardy but if it is a calculated risk that you're thinking or if it's something that your heart has been telling you this is what you want to do but everyone else and all the fear that comes up and tells you no no this won't work you're being told to just dream this take time to reflect what is it that you want think about it in full detail visualize it all right this is the time you are meant to do it that's why you're getting this keep your eyes and uh yours open mind and heart open all right and you are protected and when you finally actually act upon this and this is the time to do it you are going to actually find that spark you just watch this happening to you right now there is going to be powerful change powerful change and you are going to have victory in whatever it is that you do all right what more do you want as a confirmation spirit has a plan for you so if you've been thinking that nothing is working for you and you're stagnant or whatever it is that you're working you're getting uh, not what you have desired you're getting something back but it's not to the extent that you uh, desire it and maybe you start thinking that maybe you're wrong and or you feel that you need more clarity and it's not coming do not give up do not be frustrated spirit has a plan things are happening behind the scenes and around the 8th you can expect some sort of idea epiphany clarity something coming and this is going to change but i'd like to tell you this and i remember i have mentioned this in a reading from the past it has happened to me once uh, i and it's not happened again and i really really you know sometimes i tell myself what was i doing what was i thinking i just before uh, sleeping and in fact for some time i've been working on a book of mine which i have just left now for some time but uh it was moving at a very good pace and then i was just stuck for months on end and then because i just didn't know how to go about doing the ending and then suddenly in my sleep it was as though someone was narrating the story to me and i was in deep sleep but this thing played out so beautifully in my sleep that i woke up in the morning charged up and i wrote it down in bits and pieces whatever i remember now i don't have a very good memory so and i didn't get up in my sleep you know most of you find a lot of tarot readers say that you're going to be getting a lot of ideas in your dreams get up and write it down being the insomniac that i am if i have sleep i try my best to close my eyes and keep sleeping because i don't know when i'm going to get sleep again so i didn't wake up during that time but i did wake up in the morning and i wrote the whole thing down uh, in whichever way i remembered it but i did not act on it because there were a lot of things happening during the time you know my personal uh, thing that by the time i got down to actually working on that idea when i picked up the book where i've jotted down these points i could not make hero tale of things and it wasn't as smoothly as i had seen it and i didn't remember it because so many other things had come and i didn't take that opportunity which was gifted to me like this by the universe so why am i telling you this this is a very powerful time for you pile number 1 you are going to get something that can actually change the course of your life spirit has a plan for you this is the time for you to act so keep your eyes ears mind heart open allow yourself to receive if you have feelings of lack if you have feelings of underconfidence if you are the kind of person who worries too much it's okay just know that you are protected this is very powerful and you will get all the support that you need to make your dream come true but you need to act when you have this opportunity you will know do not let fear stop you from doing what you're meant to do expect powerful change and this is going to actually it can actually change your life all right so the clarity may come to you around the 8th of the month as i said because we have two confirmations here for that so this is going to be big change now what it exactly is when it finally happens i would be really happy to hear from you but either ways whether you want to share it or not i wish you all the very best and i hope this blessing comes in a way that you are able to receive it beautifully act on it and make it the best life for yourself all right so that's all i have for you for now by number 1 do take care and see you again soon bye bye
pile number two. Those of you who have chosen this beautiful pyrite crystal, let's see what's coming your way. Something tells me it could be a lot of moolah, a lot of money coming in or not necessarily yes money yes but it could be abundance in different forms you know because abundance doesn't necessarily have to be wealth it could be in so many other ways so let's take a look and it may not just be one blessing it could be many blessings so just keep your as i was telling the previous pile keep your mind and your heart open keep your eyes and your ears open at all time for that you need to be in the here and the now and then you see such beautiful things happening now i'm going to first put down all your cards and then we dive into your reading so to begin with you get the empress wow this is wonderful abundance is written all over your reading and the two of pentacles hmm all right so you don't know which way to go and open your hands out let's see winter take care of your needs we'll put that next to the empress because she does vulture spirit nothing is wasted Moth spirit, surrender now. I'm going to keep it right here because I've got to tell you something about this. Um, black kyanite, set strong boundaries. Relationships, I'm attracted to those people who serve my highest good. All right. Love, wow. Lily. Majesty and virtue. The lily is the emblem rare of many virtues, good and rare. All right. So keep that here. Pearl. Connect to the divine. A north node. Step out of your comfort zone. And Felix Felicitis. Power, power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events beautiful 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 now is everything coming in it is there is a lot of background noise uh if it gets picked up i'm really sorry about that but there's nothing much i can do it's a saturday so we live in a gated community and those people have come to clean up the corridors so there's a lot of sweeping and a lot of noise but I'm grateful to them because they keep our place clean and I don't want to delay this reading because I really, really feel called to do it right now. All right. So pile number two, what's coming your way is beautiful. There are a lot of things, in fact, I feel that are coming your way, not just abundance of money, of uh, abundance, uh, I mean, of wealth, but you're going to have abundance of love. All right, your relationships are going to prosper and also you are going to get spiritual downloads during this time. You're going to have, you know, even if some of you are out here, are, um, you just come here because you just wanted to just see a tarot reading. You just stumbled upon and nothing better to do. And you are atheist or you believe that you're atheist and you don't have anything got to do with religion or spirituality. That's going to change. Something's going to happen during this time, which is going to help you connect to the divine. Because something major is going to change in your life. All right. And this is very, very beautiful energy. Um, wow. This is beautiful. Now. For some of you out there, this has got to do uh, with your work and work related stuff. For others of you, it is love. And for still others of you, or maybe all of you, it is both these things. All right. Now, where do we get started? Well, before I forget, I want to tell you this. Or maybe I'll tell you this when we come to this later. Wait. All right. Pile number two, as you come to this reading, you will be in this energy of the two of pentacles. All right. You have a lot of plans. You have maybe you have a choice between two people. Maybe it is a choice between a person and your work. Maybe it is between two areas of your work, whether it should go this way or that way. Maybe you're doing two ventures. Both are doing well, but now they're seeming to want more attention. You don't know which way to give it. You just don't know what to do. You feel that if you leave one venture of yours and put your focus on the other, you would have wasted all that effort that you've put in here. It was for no reason. 
and your but the thing that's calling or for some of you something that's really really calling you is something which you've never done before but your calling is very strong so there are a lot of things happening at this time and you are in the center of it wondering which way to go all right that's one so is that a blessing no that you are at the threshold of the blessing all right now you've come to this reading from here 30 days we're talking about the blessings that are coming your way number one you are being told that no matter which area in your work you have i mean in your life you have put in effort or work it is never going to be wasted so if you feel that there are two things you've invested in and now it's time for you to invest in one and you might lose out on the other don't look at it as though that time and energy that you spent on that one thing is time wasted energy wasted no it is not with this vulture spirit card coming here saying nothing is wasted wherever you've put in your time energy effort money whatever it is whichever area it is in your life you have learned something from it it has given you experience all right and experience cannot be exchanged for anything else in the world so it's given you experience it's taught you a lot of things even though actively you may feel what have i learned no it has taught you a lot of things all right if you sit down and reflect upon it you will come to know so never regret what you have done and also don't get so attached to something when your heart is calling you to do something else just because you feel that this will go futile do not just let a big dream go waste all right so you got to make that choice and when you do Remember that nothing is wasted. You have learned from what you are leaving behind and what you're going towards is going to get you into this empress energy. And it doesn't matter whether you're a male or female walking in. We are talking energies and the empress energy embodies abundance, fertility, all right, everything that's beautiful and everything that you can dream of. The empress is the queen of queens. All right. She has it all. She has wealth. She has beauty. She has compassion. She has um, great ideas. She's got a lot of uh, intelligence. She knows exactly what she wants. And she can say it. She is standing in her power. She's got everything. And she's fertile, not just as, uh, as far as having babies are concerned, but uh, or growing things, whatever she touched turns into gold. If she's putting her effort into uh, a business her business expands if she puts her work into um, a scholarly pursuit that expands if she is deciding to follow spirituality she her psychic gifts expand wherever she is whatever she does she is the divine feminine and she allows herself to receive she is open to receive and so the universe fills her lap with whatever she wants, whatever she desires. She is just manifesting everything just by being in this energy of hers. And this is where you're going to go. Whatever it is that you find, your heart is calling you to do, follow your heart and you will come into this wonderful, wonderful energy of, of the Empress. All right. And step number one for that is to take care of your needs. What is it that is important to you? You may be in a family. There may be people dependent on you. There may be people you love a whole lot. And you have been working for everybody. But you need to work for you. And if this particular aspect where you're juggling two things and you feel if I leave something behind to follow my dreams, all these things will suffer. You're being told that it won't. If you take care of your needs and if you come into this energy, you will make sure that everything else is taken care of. But you first need to follow your heart and do what it is that you want. But if you feel how it's going to be done and you're trying to control things, you're being told, let go of control, surrender now. And this is what I want to tell you about this card. Just like in pile number one, there was one particular card, which, you know, when I was shuffling, it kept falling off before I set the intention and I actually kept it back inside two three times and finally when I set the intention I shuffle and that's the same card that fell off all right and the same thing happened here with this card for you and at the end of the uh, and I'd seen it because it had opened it had fallen um, face up so I've seen it twice but since I hadn't set the intention I put it back and that is why you're the only one who's got two of these cards because finally when I shuffle 
I pulled out only this card for you. All right. And then there was one card which is jutting out and my eyes were just drawn to it. And I said, no, I have to take that card. And I took out the card and there it's this. So this is a very important message for you, pile number two, to surrender. Surrender to the universe. Connect to the divine. Trust the universe. You are going to come into this so much of abundance in everything that you do, in every aspect of your life, whether it be wealth, whether it be ideas, your work, whether it be your beauty, your health, whether it be your love, and you know abundance family life whatever it is you are going to get it all but you need to co-create with spirit you need to trust that the universe is going to give that to you all right and for that you need to take care of yourself and now and if need be you have to step out of that comfort zone all right so if your heart is calling out you to go into any direction be it for your uh, work or your creative pursuits or away from your family to travel for something, whatever it is, take care of your needs. If something is being calling out to you, do not overlook it. All right. This is going to be an extremely lucky time for you. Whatever you touch, because you're the empress, will turn to gold, whichever area it is in your life. Now, for those of you and, and this majesty and virtue also with the lily, in uh, another deck, it's um, got to do with spiritual uh, lo uh, love. But in this case, it's got to do with that, perhaps. Uh, because when you're talking about spiritual love, if you're even talking about divine counterparts, the, equi um, the empress is the divine feminine. But apart from that, it's all about being majestic and virtuous. And that's all what the, uh, the empress embodies. So you've got a double confirmation for that. Now, for those of you who are look, asking for relationships, you get these three cards together. This is so beautiful. Love is going to is just waiting to come into your life, in your relationship. So if even if you have a specific person in your mind, or you don't have a person in your mind, or if you're asking about familial relationships, or if you're asking about, uh, you know, your soul tribe, if you've not had friends for a while and you find your friends have left you, everything is coming to you now. All right, your kind of people are going to find you. You are going to have a lot of love in your life, but... Because you have not had the kind of love that you've been looking for in the past, you're being told to guard against, you know, just letting anyone step over your boundaries. Set strong boundaries. Don't be so desperate for friendships and love to come into your life that you allow people to walk over you. Make sure you take care of your needs here. You are just as important as every other member of your family, as every other friend that you have, no matter what the relationship is. All right. And this is something that you should not compromise on. When you do that, because that is step number one, setting strong boundaries and taking care of yourself is step number one to reach the Empress energy. And this is where you're going to be uh, sent to. You know, you this is what is waiting to happen in the next 30 days. You are going to get it all. But you've got to do your bit, all right? And your bit is to simply take care of yourself, your needs, and keep your heart open, keep your mind open, all right? And if you have to step out of this, your comfort zone, and maybe you're stepping out of your comfort zone, is just telling the people around you, this is what I want, and I'm doing this. And maybe all your life you've never done that. And when you do that this time, people are going to say, no, how can you just do that? We have these plans, and that'll go for a toss. It does not matter. Your plans are equally important, all right? And you can work your way around the plans. People will have to shift their plans for you, but you are important. You've done this all your life for the other person. Now it's your turn and you've got to do it, all right? This is very powerful time for you, pile number two. So don't let this opportunity go. And whenever you're in doubt, whenever you feel, how is it going to happen? Whenever you feel low, just remember to surrender to the divine. Connect to the divine and if you are as i said just come to this uh, reading just like that and you don't know how to pray it does not matter just ask the universe there is one higher power whoever that higher power is you don't have to follow religion for it and basically when you're talking about a higher power it is source that has created you you are here that's a reality so or go into your inner inner depths that's where the source is we are all one we're made of the same thing all right just connect to that source 
from which you have come and you will realize you will get your answers be in the here and now the number 9 could be important to you the number 6 and the number oh wow 3 look at that you have 3 6 and 9 here all right and uh, so the, this is all about manifesting so you are the master manifester you may not be the magician but you are the empress whatever you touch will turn to gold all right ha ah, this is so beautiful so lovely all you have to do just one thing pile number 2 is to take care of yourself and not put your needs on a back burner you are these 30 days from the time you stumble upon this reading you make a promise that you are going to take care of yourself your physical body your mental body your emotional body and your spiritual body you are going to take care of everything about you everything that needs to make you happy and you just watch your world change all right little steps daily for yourself for your well being and look at how things change for you all right so that's all i have for you there's a lot of abundance coming your way in the in different forms for some of you it's everything for some of you it is what it is that you've been waiting for so use your discernment and apply it to your situation however it is but be sure to allow yourself to receive do connect to that higher power do connect to your innermost self to the source from whom you've come all right and i wish you all the very best uh, there's a lot of luck coming your way a lot of lovely things waiting to happen all you need to do pile number 2 is to take care of yourself and allow yourself to receive i am so excited for you and that's all i have for you for now till next time be good keep your uh, eyes ears arms heart and mind open and i'll meet you again soon bye bye last but not the least dear pile number 3s those of you who chosen the sodalite crystal i'm actually using this crystal after a very long time and i was very called to use this crystal actually it was between this and carnelian and then i meditated over it and this is what wanted to come out so for a lot of you it's about your throat chakra it's about communication all right so let's see what comes through i'll lay out your cards before we get into the blessings that are coming your way father of wands six of swords okay what are the blessings coming for pile number 3 in the coming 30 days star ancestors follow the voice of your soul coyote spirit trust in divine detours smoky quads let it go you get another one moonstone live your purpose love i commit to the practice of seeing good in all things comfort gladiola which says strength of character and moral integrity okay oh, put that here green revitalize your nervous system a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer and mystic star harmony in home and great friendship with the star ancestor here we're going to keep it right here all right pile number 3 what is happening in your life right now what are the blessings that are going to come to you from the time you see this reading and the next 30 days Ooh. So there are a lot of things happening for you. Uh everything may happen to you or maybe one or three may happen to you from this depending on your situation you will know. All right? For some of you you have just uh you know gone past a tough cycle 
with the six of swords here you're just moving away from turbulent waters taking whatever it is that is uh, yours and you're just moving to calmer waters all right this is the this is what is happening right now for you and you've already moved out by the time you come to this reading you already moved out or mo most of you have or you're just in the process of doing so all right but physically moving away from something or putting an end to something and actually letting it go from your mind from your heart is another thing so this is the blessing that you're getting in the next 30 days that you are finally able to make peace with it in your heart all right i'm going to take a break here i've got people coming in and there's a lot of noise so let me just take a break now and i come back to you file three uh you wouldn't have felt uh, you know too much of a break because I've stopped and started it again and we'll do the editing but for me it's been a long break uh, the noise that was coming in was actually my parents they had come here to babysit my dogs because he's not used to being left alone and I had an appointment for the dentist so I'm back now <clears throat> and with that I get something for you you know I had been sitting with this tooth for quite some time uh, because the time was not right because there were so many things happening and I couldn't really go and I'd reached this place wherein you know it, uh, it was it felt like I was sitting on a time bomb but uh, it finally did get resolved and I've got it done whatever it is and whatever else that needs to be it's a different story we're not talking here to talk about my tooth but we're here to tell you something that if you feel that you know it's been such a tough time and you just want to get away somehow and you're in that process of getting away and if uh, you know you're still struggling with letting it go from within as i was telling you you are going to finally make peace with the situation you are going to let this uh, situation go because you know that you've done everything that you could to make this work and now finally you have made a decision you're moving away from the situation and you also made peace with yourselves there are no hard feelings you've dealt with it and this is something that was dear to you with a personal uh, issue reaches resolution uh, for some of you you have got that resolution uh, resolution with someone maybe you've got that closure and you're moving away for others of you you've made peace within yourself all right and um you've done this with a lot of grace uh, pile number three or you are able to or that may be the blessing that's coming in that you know you can actually get past this situation with a lot of grace with a lot of um, um, benevolence of your heart with this love card here I commit to practice of seeing good in all things this is exactly what you've done You've decided that this, uh, whatever the situation was or the people involved, they meant something to you at one point. So you do not want any drama uh, and you have left with your grace intact. And this shows your strength of character and moral integrity. And this is visible to everybody. You have, in doing so, come into this King of Wands energy. People are now going to look up to you for the way you've handled the situation all right for you you might just think that you just want to get over with it and you've moved out and you're happy that you just closed a chapter but trust in divine detours whatever has happened and the way you've conducted yourself and moved away with this with your love intact you have got a lot of admirers after this all right and just by doing this you are people are going to see you as someone uh who is you know the bigger person that's what you have shown everyone by just walking away and walking away not in a, a way of you know uh, mud slinging and whatever it is or you have just uh, known what you are worth and you've just said enough of this drama and i'm moving out and this is visible to everyone and you have followed the voice of your soul your soul has actually you followed your intuition all right and you have decided that this whatever the situation was it's no longer serving me and me being here is affecting a lot of people and 
with grace and dignity you have decided all right you can have your bit whatever you want to say i am off and in doing so you are actually moving towards your life purpose and this is what you are doing you are following the calling of your soul and you will find your purpose all right in doing this and this was the divine plan so whatever was happening behind the scenes this was for you to move on all right now the number 16 or the number 7 could be uh, relevant to you all right which is a very spiritual number and this is the card of uh, number 6 which is also the card of venus all right which is love and uh, here you have the number 31 and the number 4 which is all about stability so now you're going to a place where you are going to be doing things that Uh, it's uh, like that i've uh, spoken about this before it's about ikigai you would have come across this term it's a japanese term it's got to do with your life purpose something that makes you really happy doing it and uh, it also you know brings abundance to you and for a lot of you it may be using your voice all right i feel uh, you will be great communicators uh, and when you're using your voice doesn't necessarily have to just be speaking it could also be through writing all right so but your word is going to be very powerful and every experience that you've had and this particular journey of yours which is wherever it's taking you you are going to uh, have a huge impact on people around you and this whatever this particular thing is for you will know what it is all right where you've moved away this uh, from the situation with grace and dignity which is the biggest blessing because this you may just see it as something which has just happened oh my lord i'm so relieved that that's over i've put it behind me and i'm moving forward but you don't know the impact of this has hap had on the people around you all right you are going to be seen by people as someone with a with strength of character and moral integrity people are going to trust you people are going to know that this person is solid all right and in doing whatever you uh, are doing and moving away you also realize the impact you have when you tell certain people and people listen to you 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 just get this uh, you know you have learned so much you've experienced so much that you actually do stumble upon this for each of you it's going to be different what your life purpose is but it has got to do with communication of some sort all right and as you move with whoever it is who come with you you'll find there's a lot of harmony in your home and you will be getting great friendships because there are a lot of people who've seen or heard whatever's happened and they know how you have been you know how you've held yourself and the fact that you've moved away without rancor you had love the entire time that you were dealing with uh, everyone around you so this is going to put you in a position where you are going to really be thriving you there's going to be harmony in your home environment in the people around you in your friendships you generally going to have a very peaceful and comfortable time this entire 30 days if you've been going through a lot of tumultuous energies before this you will find that you have time to just sit back and relax and enjoy life all right to just take every moment in this is going to be a huge huge thing for you and whatever has happened is going to you know this may be the time where in these 30 days you're going to just sit back and enjoy your happy times peaceful time with your family and with your friends and from here um, you know you'll get these ideas of how to use your voice for some of you it may be through writing for others of you it may be you know some of you may be tarot readers yourself some of you will be uh, you know um, uh, what is uh, influencers of different kinds so for each of you it's going to be different you may be bloggers you may be writers you may be artists something through your way of expression is going to make you changes you're going to make waves all right it may begin small but then you're going to expand because this is uh, what your calling is and i feel that very strongly with the solar light here all right and you are trusting your inner voice and that is going to guide you 
to where you're meant to be for you to live your purpose all right now you also need to with this card here revitalize your nervous system or what i feel is that you need to go out in nature some more and i you are going to have that environment wherein you're comfortable and you can do things for yourself so any time you feel that you're stuck in your head uh, you are being asked to go out into nature some more and when you are there the insights that you get towards your life purpose is going to come to you at that time all right so uh for you pile number 3 you may not uh, you know if you've come to this reading i feel a lot of you have come to this reading you've actually be relieved knowing that you can go past these difficult energies and you will the next 30 days are going to see you being at peace being happy enjoying your home environment enjoying uh, with the people you love and at the same time having this inner guidance of knowing exactly what you want to do you will be sowing seeds at this time uh, towards your life purpose all right uh, maybe this is the time where in your chilling uh, you're taking a break from everything but because you have this idea you started setting things up you're researching over what you want to do and how you want to do it all right so that you might not see um the blessing as in happening right now uh, except for the fact that you have actually moved in peace but you are sowing seeds for something big really really big that's to come in the future all right and i wish you all the very best and it is not easy for people to build their character all, all right if life is cool and simple and um, easy you really don't um, build character then you have actually shown the people around you you are going to be so uh, inspirational for the people around you and you uh, people are going to use you as, as an example when they talk about moral integrity all right this impact for you you may not see it right now but people actually can see it and they are looking at you from a uh, you know in a whole new light and this will reveal itself to you in times to come all right so that's all i have for you i'm it's an honor for me to read for you pile number 3 you're wonderful people all right and sometimes you need to actually remind yourself of how special you are because this is something that we can all hope to gain in our lifetime for this it, it's not easy it doesn't come just because we will it to come there's a lot that goes in there's a lot of grace that you need to show dignity and it's not easy in difficult times to be that way all right but you have displayed that and you are going to be rewarded by the universe for the very same thing all right but whenever you come into this con uh, confusion or some energies where you want some answers step out into nature and you won't be disappointed all right so that's all i have for you group 3 sending you lots of love and uh hope to see you soon with another reading bye bye